The theater in Magna has sparked outrage after the discovery of a cast member's troubling past. The Empress Theater came under the spotlight this week after a meeting that called out the board members. And the accusation that they allowed a known sex offender to perform on stage with children. Two News investigator Darby Sparks speaking with the theater members about how this was allowed to happen. This is the historical Empress Theater in Magna. It puts on plays performed by volunteer actors, one of them including Keldon Cook, who is a registered sex offender since 2015. Board members of the theater allegedly knew about this for years and still allowed him to perform with children in plays. A meeting this week brought to light Keldon Cook's background. Cook, a repeat cast member, is on Utah's sex offender registry. He had been cast in several shows um, and the shows some of them are with children. Cook was convicted in 2015 and spent time in prison for unlawful sexual activity with a minor, a third degree felony, as well as sexual exploitation. And according to theater members, board members of the Ochre Hills Performing Arts Alliance, the organization running Empress, knew about this for years. I felt really, really gross that I felt like I was a part of something that I would not have ever condoned or been okay with being a part of. Taylor Barnes was in a play with Cook. She said she discovered his past in February and tried talking with the board members. Barnes says Cook was allowed to spend time in a dressing room with a minor. Basically what was said was that um, they weren't required to do background checks. Dressing rooms technically are not, it's not illegal for a pedophile to be in a dressing room with a minor. And so they hadn't done anything legally wrong. Barnes says the board told her they would inform the child's parents of Cook's past. She says that never happened. Both Holm and Barnes say Cook's history was only made public when a former board member resigned over the issue being kept a secret. They supported him and they stood behind him. I reached out to the Empress Theater via phone and email to ask about the allegations of board members knowing of Cook's registry, as well as asking for an explanation as to why they continued to allow him to perform, specifically with children. They did not respond to my request for comment. In a meeting on Monday night, board members who allegedly knew about Cook's past all resigned. And the theater now has a policy to background check their volunteers before allowing them to become official members. In Magna, I'm Darby Sparks, 2 News Investigates.